Hello everybody, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild today with some more black bear grinding because it actually wasn't too bad yesterday. We actually enjoyed it quite a bit. We're going to jump back into it and see uh, how we do. We're going to have to change our loadout, of course, back to the bear hunter's loadout. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to be good with just this for now. We'll even keep the same skin on there. And uh, yeah, let's just change the time. We're going to go down to this one, though. Ah, yes, indeed, Bebop. Let's get that going. There we go. Hope everybody is having a uh, phenomenal time today. Hope you're all doing very well. Go to 22 and like there. 2204. No, I'm not tired at all, Trick. Not sure what you mean, my dude. Hey, Timothy, how's it going? Hey, Braxton. Hey, Crystal. Let's get up in here and take down some of these black bear. Hey, G Games. Hope you're doing good, man. Female bear. That random bighorn sheep, okay. There's a male bear instantaneously I might add that's pretty nice to see a bear that was here instantly that is pretty awesome not gonna lie pretty awesome man hey cash I'm doing good doing really good yeah I will be sports that it's two days from now I was gonna do it tomorrow but I got to thinking like I wanted to get that uh, shotgun video out first. And then I've got one other video that comes out before the Great One video. So two days from now on Sunday, which honestly, that's probably better anyway. Sunday is usually one of the days where the most people are able to watch YouTube. So since we're posting uh, such a big video, our first ever uh, rare, or not rare, but our first ever fabled fur type moose. I want everybody to be able to see it, so we're going to be posting it on Sunday. Wyatt, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. I know, right, Doan? I mean, it's the only great one we don't have. We need him. Oh, we just completed something in the hunt club. Harvest any species of bear and pass the harvest check. Well, that's going to be easy. That's going to be really easy. I, I can't claim it, though. Uh-oh. Oh, actually, it counted it. Never mind. It counted it as being claimed. That was weird. That was tripping me out a little bit. I was like, why can't I claim it? There we go. It let us claim it. So I don't think any bears are actually going to be here yet. I've noticed they always show up on the left side first. So that's probably where we're going to spend most of our time early on. Hey, Duck, how's it going, man? You smell a great one? Hopefully. I know I sound the same, Trick. I don't know uh, why it's sounding different to you, but I'm talking the same as I always do. We get this thing on the run. Come on. Ho, ho, ho. Oh my gosh. That poor thing. It stood no chance. Of course I do, uh, Eli. I get happy when any great one spawns. Doesn't matter if it takes forever or if it's quick. It's still a great one. It, when it happens quickly, I feel like it's more exciting because it's unexpected. So I get really excited when one pops quickly because I don't expect it. I expect uh, the great ones to take like 2,000 kills. So when I get one in like 300 or 400, it actually really like surprises me even more. Like it, it just shocks me. Because I'm used to most of my grinds taking like 1 to 2,000, sometimes even like 4,000. Hey, Kathy, how's it going? Nice, John. That's awesome, man. Congratulations, dude. How long have I been on the grind? 
I've been on the grind for a while. Uh, the bear grind we've been on off and on ever since they released. So it, it's been a very long time. We're at around 3,500 bear kills with no great one. Yeah, Cody, I remember you. Yeah, Duck. The red badge is always a nice one to get. And then you work your way up to the gold badge. Then eventually, the rainbow badge. Oh, hey! We got a mail! Man, I am loving that the bears are actually showing up now for us. Like... If this is a game changer. Did you just bark at me? I'm pretty sure our, our dog just barked at us. That was wild. That was out of nowhere. There we go. Oh, they are dusky. Holy. So I think for some of these bear zones, we are going to start maybe reducing the amount of areas that we're hunting. It's going good so far, Zach. Yeah, gotta love it, Caitlin. Something's going on with YouTube where it doesn't update it in Discord. Like, uh, anytime I embed the link, it's not updated. But, um, whenever you go to, like, the channel, it shows the correct one, so I don't know. YouTube tripping out. I am proud and disgusted that you're continuing the bear grind. I know, right, bro, bro? I didn't expect myself to be able to survive it. But honestly, it, it hasn't been too bad. <laughs> yeah, Caitlin. We're doing what we can to get this this beautiful great one. I need it. Boom. It's it's bugged. It's still still bugged, but there there. Weekly? By the book. Pass the harvest check and get a hundred percent quick kill. Okay. Good to know. Hey CJO, how's it going, man? ART? Uh, not really, Colt. We just started. You know, it's crazy, though. Nine minutes in, we've already killed three bears. That's a first. We could never have done that before. I have not, WB. You know, we gotta, we gotta do that in moderation. We can't just call them stinky all the time, or else it will lose its meaning. The bears will no longer get mad and give us great ones. Nothing here, unfortunately. <laughs> you know, not gonna lie, I would I would pay to see Brobra smash a pie in his face. Like, I 100% would. I 100% would. That, that is something I need in my life. Good old Pybra. You'd buy the pie? Holy. I think we got a, I think we got a plan cooking up. Three thirty-eight's not doing too bad on these bears. Like it's actually doing pretty good. You should play grounded. Uh, not really my type of game, Doge. I've looked at it. Eh, doesn't look like I'd enjoy it that much. However, there is a game that I might play on the channel, and I think you guys might like it. I know a lot of you are familiar with Ark Survival Evolved. Well, there's a brand new game. That is coming out. In fact, it's already out, but uh, it came out recently, like a few days ago, I believe. And it's essentially you're like tiny humans in like a normal size world. And like instead of dinosaurs, there's giant bugs and uh, like lizards and frogs and things like that that you're surviving against. And you can tame them and some of them you can ride. Uh, you, there's like a crafting and building system. 
it looks really amazing. Like, I, I really want to play it. I just bought it last night and... Thinking about doing a stream on it at some point if I end up liking it. So we will see. There we go, we got him. Definitely gonna need to get a tent down there, as I was talking about yesterday. We're gonna have to go through and grab a few of the tents that are in areas that I don't really care about. Nice, Doge. Yeah, something like that, Johnny. It's like a more in-depth version of it, kind of. Which is kind of what, like, uh, brought that to mind when it was mentioned. Like, I really think it is going to be an awesome game. It looks like it's a lot of fun. Looks like it's got so many things that Ark does, but, like, in a completely new universe. And it's made by different developers, so it's not just one of those copy-pastes like Atlas or, uh, what's it called? Dark and Light? Like, it's not a copy-paste like those games were, because it's a different company. And it looks like it's really cool. I'm excited for it. I am just dying to try it out. All right, later, uh, Bredam. Thank you for being here. I demolished that poor bear. Then <laughs> this little level four right there. Uh, let's see. Where do we usually have males? Usually one there. Hey, Sean, how's it going? Okay. <laughs> Get out of here, mountain lion. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you, mountain lions. Gosh, the mountain lions everywhere, man. I don't know what to do. They're just menaces. Oh no, more, more. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, ha ha. That thing's dead. That thing is dead. <laughs> my gosh. Hey, Brett, you didn't miss too much. Just some uh, mountain lions causing trouble over here. These mountain lions, they really, really want to scare our bears away. Because they know that we're going to get the great one today. They, they know we're going to get it. They want to make sure that we don't. Probably not Golden Game. The second I heard that the legendaries are in specific areas, it turned me off from even wanting to go for them. Because uh, I was expecting, like, legendary fish and angler to be, like, the great ones in Call of the Wild where, like, it was just a random spawn, but seems like they're always in the same, like, area. So I, I, I have no interest in going for them on Angler. I will play Angler again eventually. Most likely after a couple more updates. But uh, I, I probably won't go for the Legendary Fish. I don't really have an interest in it. How many kills in am I? 3,500 I caught. With about 1,000 of those kills being after... The SRP rework. Ain't nothing here. Back to the lake we started with today. Honestly, I really feel like I could only grind the left side of the map and have uh, reliable spawns. It's really looking like that. No, Brantley, we've never got a great one bear, sadly. And that's why we're grinding them now. Bears again. Oh, gosh. Is there... Don't tell me there's mountain lions up here, too. There's a five. All right, let's get that five down. Honestly, I'm surprised at how reliable these bears have been, like... They've actually been really reliable.
Thank you, Brantley. <laughs> yeah, Johnny. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Pro needs tippy boy too. Yeah, we still need the typical uh, white tail and the typical moose. We need both of those. Um, what tent? We can grab this tent. I have not seen a bear down here in ages. Like, I don't even think they go down there anymore. At least on my map, I don't think they do. What are the usual kills number-wise? Uh, bear are very sporadic. Um, to be honest, I don't even know. The, the average kills for bear is like 500 to 6,000. Like, it's one of the widest ranges. And the only reason for that is because we don't have a lot of data. Not very many people hunt for black bear great one. So it's really hard to get a, a good estimate of how many kills it takes. Because most of the time it's quite unpredictable. Even more so than like whitetail or anything. Like with all the other great ones, enough people hunt them that we kind of know how long it takes on average. Whitetail, it's like one to 2,000 with some exceptions being longer or shorter. If you take a look at stuff like the red deer, we know the average is usually like three to 4,000. Actually, I'd say three to 6,000 is probably the average for red deer. And then we get the moose and the average is like one to 2,000 with some being really quick, like sub 1,000 and some taking a little bit longer like one of ours did. But we still have like an average range with the bear. It's so hard to tell. It could be anywhere from 500 to 6,000 from what I've seen. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Weird number range. Oh, definitely I caught definitely. The bears are uh, hard to kind of pinpoint. Really tough to kind of like nail down exactly what the numbers are. Got lucky with a great one red deer within 350 kills. That is pretty lucky, man. That's really lucky. I've only had one red deer pop uh, sub 500. All the other ones took thousands besides one of them taking like 780, I believe. But most of them have took thousands. Oh, wait. We had a male here? I didn't even know that we had a male here. There was no males last like four times we've been here, so... That's nice that we found one. I think what I'm gonna do is move this tent further down this way, and then we can see... this shoreline where they drink, as well as have a closer way to get down to that lake. Ah, uh, to be honest, I don't know, Blake. I don't think we have bad weather right now, no. Because I was outside a little bit earlier, and... It was, uh, it was clear. A little chilly, but that's about it. Great One Moose was just a little bit over the usual kills. Uh, yeah, yeah, about double. A little bit more than double. But, I mean... It was only 300 after we went to Rev, but 4,200 on Medved. So, combined, it was like 4,500, which is pretty bad. <laughs> that's a long grind. As far as we can prove, it really only affects Diamond's uh, sneakers head, but everybody you ask will have a different opinion on that, so... You'll probably get mixed answers from different creators and people throughout the community. Uh, from what I've seen, I don't think it affects the Great Ones. Um, I buy Premiums, who is one of the like most hardcore Great One grinders of all time that uses herd management like an absurd to an absurd level. He doesn't believe it affects Great Ones either. He used to, and I did too, but then the more that we've grinded, the more we've kind of seen that it can be quite random and hard to predict even when you're doing it, so... Until uh, we see otherwise, I don't think it does. But I'm also not opposed to having my mind changed, you know? <laughs> yeah, Kathy. He's, he's insane, man. Like, the amount of effort he puts into grinds is crazy. Is the Ibex still a common diamond? I don't know if it's as common as it used to be, but it's definitely not, like, super rare. 
I wouldn't say it's like super common either though. If you're after great ones, yes, Sneaker said. What I do is, um, obviously, I, I pretty much just do what I used to before herd management was discovered. I just hunt the zones that I find the easiest and fastest to hunt. I look for my most consistent zones that uh, always get their respawns back. I can always expect the same amount of respawns. And if there's multiple males, I prioritize the biggest one first. Like, let's say there's three males. I'll try to kill all three of them. But if there's, like, let's say... Let's say there is a big level two and two like mid-size level two. Ooh, that's a mythical. Like mid-size level two whitetail, right? I would probably prioritize the bigger level two first and then try to get the others as they run. So I always prioritize the biggest one in the zone, but try to kill as many of them as I can. 2140, that's a big boy. We haven't had a diamond bear in a while, so I'm curious if we will end up getting one at some point. I think that's perfect. I think that tent placement's actually really good. This gives us better access to this entire uh, lake. Honestly, I don't mind the 338 on bear. Like, I hated using the 338 on moose, but it's actually fun on the bears. I feel like bears are weak enough to where penetration isn't really an issue like it is on the moose. And so the lack of penetration with the 338 doesn't, it doesn't seem as noticeable on the bears. And so it's actually pretty good on them. I definitely think the, the 338 is going to be a very situational gun. It works really good for some species and not so good for others. And I kind of think that's good. It makes it so the 300 and 338 have really, they really both have like good equal usability. Depending on what you're going for. I like that. That's nice. How many animals can you kill at one time on a tripod without removing the zone? I believe 15. But as far as I know, like... You'll never get to that point because... it Each of the, like, hunting pressure... Each of the little bits of hunting pressure you create when you're in a stand... They're smaller and they disappear quicker, so... By the time you get to 15, I think it starts removing some of the old hunting pressure, if I'm not mistaken. At the very minimum, if you have at least two zones, if you have uh, two of your zones with tripods, right, and those are the ones you're hunting, you could go between two zones and never have enough hunting pressure to delete the zone. Like, all you really need is one, one other place that you're uh, hunting and it'll, it'll delete enough pressure. Why does that female bear look really bright? It might just be because of the lighting, but... Yeah, it's not rare. Yeah, moose definitely need to be nerfed a little bit. They are quite tanky. All right. Two bears down. Not bad. Really curious how many bears we've killed. We've been going for 25 minutes now. Ow. Bro, chill. Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> uh, yeah, go for it, squirrel. That would actually be amazing. Um, I was going to ask if anybody had some great one bear images because I was going through my, uh, like, uh, cutouts I have of the Great One Bear, and I was like, man, I've used the same Great One Bear image for, like, everything. So, yeah, if you want to send some, feel free to. I was actually going to ask around, so... That's awesome. It's a Fabled Cream. Oh, perfect. That's one of my favorites. And also, if anybody has a screenshot of a Fabled... Fabled Chestnut, that's another one I'd like some uh, some screenshots of so I can use them for thumbnails. So if anybody's got one, send it to my Discord. It would be much appreciated. Let's see. What are we going to do here? Oh, uh, no. I should have put the tent down there. I want to keep a tent there so I can use it as a claiming tent. 
Trying to think of what tents we can remove real quickly. I mean, I don't need this one anymore. That was just for one video. Oh, that's fine, Squirrel. That is fine, man. I'm um, not right now. Well, actually, yeah, we are kind of Jaden. I, I still am grinding moose. Just uh, today we're doing just bears because I, I've got the bear itch. I really want to get this great one bear. He's got the rare bear itch. I got to see if we're still getting males here. Because if we are, then I'll definitely need to put a tent down there to get quick claiming. What are the rare furs for the bear? There is the cinnamon, the brown, and the blonde. With a blonde and brown definitely being my favorites. Although that's probably just because I've seen so many cinnamons. To be honest, all the rare bears look nice. I feel like this is one of those zones that only gets a male bear every once in a while, so I'm probably not going to worry about putting another tent there. We need to hit up the zones where we haven't killed a bear yet, because it's almost the end of the time. And so any that we didn't kill a bear at will probably have their males there if they were supposed to even have one. Which makes me think we probably will have one here. This zone always has at least one. Yeah, right there. Little level seven. Beautiful. <laughs> I hit the I hit the rail. Okay. Uh let's go up here. Boom. Boom. Amazing. Yeah, honestly, that that's insane, Caitlin. Like I've, I've got 3,500 now, and I haven't even found my first bear. You got really lucky in terms of kill count. Like, that is awesome. And you got two of my favorite variations for the bear. Like, even luckier. Even luckier. To be fair, it, it didn't uh, it didn't happen quickly though, Kathy. Like it's just kill count that's low. Um, bears in general, even if you kill them at the fastest rate possible, you're probably only getting like a max of thirty bears an hour, because they just in general are uh, very spread out and kind of slow to get to their zones. Ooh, that's a seven. That's a five. Okay, we got two males here. Keep that guy spotted. Nice. Beautiful. You love to see it. This is by far my favorite zone. I think we've killed five males from this zone alone without a time reset. Like, that is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, I think the seven's over here. I'm going to grab that seven first. So how is everybody doing today? I don't know if I ask just in general how everyone is. Hope you're all doing phenomenal. One night you only shot seven because they weren't cooperating. Yeah, bears do be like that. Bears do be like that. Hey, Carrie, I'm doing good. All right, let's go ahead and... Figure out where we're going to put this tent. Actually, we'll probably... We might... I want to place a tent up here, actually. Better than getting five foxes? Oh, fox are rough, Johnny. They're really rough. Awesome to hear, Philip. Nice, Ashley. Nice, Nathan. Nice, chicken. Glad to see you guys doing good. Wow. Okay, so our respawn is already here before we even reset the time. That is awesome. Now, how reliable will that be? Like, how often will we get the respawn to come back before we even reset the time? 
I know this is a respawn because that zone never has more than one. I always get a max of one bear at this zone. One male bear always shows up over there, so that's definitely a respawn from the one that we shot earlier. Also, I gotta see, how many have we killed? So, this is a total of 20, I think. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 black bear in 30 minutes is not bad, guys. That's not bad. This is the same. That's like identical to our moose grind on Revon Tuli. I could totally get a hundred bears a day if I if I do like three hours of streaming. If I stream bears for three hours every day, I'd get almost a hundred bears a day. That that's actually not bad. I got a feeling we're gonna get this bear soon. Yeah, definitely, Johnny. That that part is very rough. Do you know how many hours you have on this game? Probably an insane amount of hours. I believe I I looked at it last night. It's like 5,175 on Call of the Wild, which is a lot of hours. Now that's a pretty crazy amount. But I haven't had a male bear over here in a very long time. It makes me wonder where they are. Honestly, that kind of makes me feel like I don't want to put this other tent here. I might just use the ATV from now on, just like I have been. Because, like, I haven't seen a bear on this side in a very long time. But I, I do see a lot of bears down there, and fast traveling would be much quicker for that. Ah, sounds about right, Bobby. They, they just be flying away. They, they do be doing that, I tell you. They do be doing that. There's a five. Oh, legendary! Let's go! Oh my gosh! We got a legendary already! <laughs> oh my gosh, it turns out you actually can find diamond bears when they actually are uh, getting to their zones on time. It's traveling away though, oh my gosh. No, come back here. Come back here, little bear. Come back here. Oh my gosh. Guaranteed? It is, it's guaranteed. Oh my gosh. That's a big boy. Come on, give us the great one. We got a diamond showing already. We need that great one. And yeah, that literally is a, a guaranteed diamond. That's crazy. That's a guaranteed diamond. And two males at this lake even, which is also amazing. What's diamond bear score? I believe it's like 2280. And this is 23. So, it's guaranteed to be a diamond, which is amazing. Hello there, Mr. Black Bear. Please do not run away. I am trying to get close to you. So we can get a reliable shot into those lungs. We gotta do it. Honestly, I can probably do 190. Not gonna take that angle, but if it if it goes broadside, I will take it down. You're guessing max weight, max score? I hope so, Blake. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy if our first diamond back on the bear grind is a uh, a max. That'd be amazing. We got the vitals. Let's go. Legendary bear on the ground. That is the last thing I expected to see today. Holy. What great one fur type for the bear do I want? I really want the fabled chestnut, spirit, or fabled cream. Like any of those three and I'd be really, really happy. I mean, I'll be happy with anything in terms of bears because I just want a great one bear. But uh, those are the three I want the most. Yeah, you did, Connor. You joined at the perfect time. We got our first legendary after returning to the grind. If it is Max, I called it first. We'll see, man. We'll see if it's Max. I think it's going to be a big one. My guess is 2385. Max score is 24. So 2385 is my guess. 
And I'm going to say 283 on the weight, like 283 kgs. Although, actually, I don't know what type of weights you could expect for one that's like 0.15 off max. So that's my guess is 0.15 off max. 2353. Okay, so not as big as I hope, but that's still amazing. I don't care. We got ourselves a beautiful diamond. I failed my guess, but we got a beautiful 2353 diamond black bear. That is so awesome. That is so awesome right there. What a way to start the day, guys. That's like what? This is like our 18th bear of the day. Definitely a respawn from the first run. And uh, 338 getting the double lung on these bears. I'm telling you, it does fine on bears. I think it's just other species that it has problems with. You were 0 0.05 off. So close, Caitlin. It's almost like you know your bears or something. It's almost like Caitlyn knows her bears or something. Like, that's crazy. Let's go grab this other one real quick. You've got like six diamond black bear and none of them broke 23. Jeez, that's crazy, man. That's, that's actually pretty unlucky. That means all of yours were just barely over diamond. That's wild. Yeah, you barely missed it, chicken. Barely missed it. Yeah, Caitlyn was super close, TTK. Super close. You're used to seeing their racks. Yes, the bear racks. That's that's how you knew the score, right? You you looked at the antlers and you were like, yeah, that's a that's uh that's gotta be around like a 2350, somewhere in that range. Yep. You don't have a max scoring bear? I have not got a max scoring bear during the actual grind. I've got max scoring bear before I did a uh, great one grinding though. A while back I had them. But I have never got one since the, the black bear great one release. We're going to drop that tent there because we still have one more that we can put somewhere. And I, this is a zone that usually gets up to two bears so I want to have a claiming tent there. This is where we're reserving the other claiming tent for is right here. That zone is awesome. You barely missed it. <laughs> Just barely. Thank you, G Games. Appreciate it, dude. Never seen a bear over level 7. They're not easy to find, man. It's actually really hard to get mythical and level 9 bears. I have hunted a lot of bears, and I can tell you that probably less than 0.5% are mythicals or better. Like, that that would be my guess on how many I've seen. You don't see many. Honestly, I think this... Bear grind is going to be one of the more profitable grinds we've done. If we can get it to where we're able to claim them super quickly and kill a lot of them in an hour, we will definitely uh, be making a decent bit of money off of them. Okay, no bears there yet, so we're probably going to need to main menu. Also, I need to make sure that I save that replay. Let's see. So yeah, if you want to send some, feel free to. Okay, I did. Good. I did remember to clip it. So we're good to go. You have decent luck with the brown bear for some reason? Yeah, I feel like I have better luck with brown bear than I do black bear as well. Grizzly are by far the toughest for me of the bear species. I only have like... I think I found three level nine grizzlies and only two of them made diamond. I just in general do not see a lot of them. Oh yeah, we gotta update the diamond counter. Thank you for reminding me. 2203. There we go. And if you guys are curious what 2202 was, we uh we took another diamond off Brober's map last night. <laughs> but it was one that he didn't care about, so. He, he gave me the go ahead before I even found it. He was like, he was like, yeah, if you find any, just shoot them. We got ourselves a little capper Cali. Cause I was asking bro, bro, I was like, is there any, is there anything like of the birds that you like don't want me to shoot or, or what? 
And he was like, yeah, geez, shoot any diamonds you find, but uh, you could, if, if you want to, leave me the uh, the rares for the Capricallies and stuff. So I was like, yeah, I can do that. And sure enough, I find a diamond Capricalli. Oh, you did, Jaden? That's a big nail. That is a big nail. Hey, Dad Hunter, how's it going? Hey, Dara, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Glad that you enjoy the content. Yeah, maybe, Jambo. But I mean, we did get a diamond, so we're off to a good start. May have to call him Stinky. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, man. Gonna get the great one in the next 200 kills, trust? I, I hope so, Mass Gaming. I wouldn't be too surprised. Most people get their... I see a lot of people get their bear sub 2000. Whilst there's a lot that get it much later than that, I do see a decent bit of sub 2000 grinds recently. And so it does make me wonder, like, maybe... Maybe since we've killed about a thousand since they reworked SRP, maybe we'll get this bear within another thousand kills. I think that's possible. Definitely hard to predict for sure, though. All right, let's go up here. We're going to have to go through all the zones again and see what's here and what isn't. Going to get the great one in the next... Oh, okay, I already read that. Never mind. Started my Bethidi Ibex grind, and the first and third ones that I've ever shot were diamond. That's amazing, dude. That is absolutely amazing. All right, no bear there. Do a quick little uh, skim through all the zones, as always. Oh, got you, squirrel. Got my 30th diamond on my lion grind today. Two points off max. Nice. That's awesome. Sold someone's diamond blue wildebeest off their map in a multiplayer server. Nice, Connor. Gotta love those wildebeest diamonds. Hey, hamster man. How's it going? They were in the same herd, too. That's pretty wild, dude. Randomly walking around in my whitetail grind, I saw a piebald cow moose. I actually had that happen during one of our whitetail grinds as well. We spotted like a piebald bull moose right behind the herd I was shooting at. It was actually pretty hilarious. Gotta love it when that happens. Nothing here. Trying to think of what we should reserve this other tent for. There's definitely a few zones that could be really beneficial to have a tent at. I really think, like, down here would be a good idea. We'll have to see, though. It depends, uh, because you watched for the longest time with the bears. I hunted everything. But, um, recently I am finding that more and more zones are becoming consistent as I've hunted the bears more. So I think pretty soon we are going to start, I mean, we've already kind of started prioritizing my favorite zones, but I think we're going to start doing it even more. Just try to focus on the consistent ones. Shot a black diamond wolf. Nice, Llama. That's pretty crazy, Colton. That's a lot of nines. Hey, Clay Drew, how's it going, dude? How many more great one chance do you have left until they run out? I don't know, hamster. I mean, like I said, we can't be can't be overusing these chants, or else uh, or else they'll lose any power they had. But I, I suppose we could do one great one chant to try and summon the great one. G R E A T one 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 for me, please. See, yeah, I, I, maybe that's what we were missing before. We didn't add the please to the end like I just did there. So maybe that's why it didn't work before. Gotta add the please. To, to show the, the great one that you're polite as well. I think that might be the difference. That might be the, the game changer right there. Come on, little Barrios. Barrios. 
Nothing there. There is a zone, though. That's for the pronghorn, I think. Oh, that's a bear. Sir, where were you hiding? I gotta know. You just randomly pop up out of nowhere. Over here is where I want to place the tent, I think. Although I might save it and just kind of wait until we see a zone that gets a ton of them. Your moose goal is a wonky rack now. They do look really good, Caitlin. I, I gotta admit, like, the wonky moose do look pretty fire. To the point where I, I really would not mind getting one, like, for real. I would love getting a, uh, a super wonky moose like that. Especially if it has a good fur type. If it's got a good fur type and it has that super wonky looking typical and big non-tip combo. Oh my gosh, I would love that. I would love that. At evaluations for officiating hockey, my skating was so bad. They want the group of officials who went today to be showcased for going to... Uh, uh, not sure what all the WHL, OHL, AJHL, AHL, and NHL camps. Holy... That's wild, Clager. Well, good luck with everything, man. Hope it all goes well for you. All right, later, G Games. Thank you for being here. Have I got a great one, Bear? Yet nothing yet, Gunner. But we are we are doing our best. We got a diamond already today, so we're off to a good start. Yesterday we got a level seven blonde, and today we got ourselves a diamond. So we are off to a great start. We're actually getting pretty efficient with this grind as well. Thanks to uh, Caitlin and a few other people in chat telling me to reset the time to like 22 or 22.30 instead of the very beginning. It has helped a lot with getting them in their, in their zones quickly. Oh no, I don't have any... Ah, uh, what else could I do? What tent can I remove? I mean, I, I need this here so I can check this. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, or eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, it's all sixteen. I mean, I really don't need this one here anymore, I guess. If I need to check this zone, I can just go here and walk up. Because it really only has a male like once every three or four runs. So I, I can just go grab that one. Uh, yeah, I probably will, uh, will. Maybe. It depends. Like, uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to stream with, uh, Brober or not later. I'm pretty sure him and Caitlyn are streaming. And, uh, Brober was like, you can join if you want to. So I might. We'll see. It depends on how much I got to do today. Because I still need to get some recording done for the Great One video and also for tomorrow's video. I need to, need to get some stuff recorded for those. But I could always do that tomorrow as well. So we shall see. Um, Sunday, I probably will not be here for part of the day. So I don't know what the stream schedule is going to look like on Sunday. But we for sure have the Great One video going up then. But um, we're going to meet with one of... Uh, we're going to meet with uh, like a, somebody to do our taxes, right? So we got to do that on Sunday. Because uh, it, uh, believe it or not, like, as a content creator, taxes are complicated. Like, I'm pretty sure last time we spent, like, five hours doing it, which is not the average duration, you know. So we're going to have a professional do it this year. That way I don't miss anything. So we'll be gone most of Sunday, probably. And then if I get home in time, I'll do an evening stream. If I, if I get home in time on Sunday, we'll do an evening stream. So yeah, I got a lot, a lot of stuff on my plate right now that I want to do content-wise. So I don't know if we'll have enough time to stream tonight, but I'm going to try to. I will try to. Hello over there, little bear. A mythical. Man, we're finding some big boys. There's a five. I love this zone so much. There's a three. This zone is amazing. It's just so good.
Where's the other bear over here? I gotta keep this one spotted. Oh, did it move? Oh, it's moving. Okay. Even better. Ah! I hit it! That was definitely not vitally, though. Oh! We got that one, though. Nice! Okay, that somewhat worked out. That it wasn't clean, but we got it. Oh, you do, bro, bruh. Holy dude. That's wild. Yeah, we've been uh we've been filing joint for the last couple years, like ever since we got married. Me and Bree have been doing the joint because you get it's just better to do it jointly. There's a lot more like a uh, tax breaks and stuff like that that you get if you file jointly so like uh if you can it's it's definitely smart to file uh jointly 2202 not bad tax tips with scarecrow <laughs> that guy's not gonna die anytime soon so i'm not gonna worry about him too much however what we are gonna do is head to this zone see if anything new is there Yes, that too. That too, for sure. Hey, Toxicity, how's it going, man? We're taking on those Black Bear again. We already got a diamond on the night, so we're ha we're off to a pretty awesome start. Now we just need to see that big male great one show up. That is the dream. To find one so it's no longer a meme. That was a bar. I hate mountain lions. Why are they here? This is this is terrible. Why are they here, man? Yeah, it's definitely not fun, Mr. Raccoon. Definitely not fun. Five there? You know, I haven't been seeing as many on this side. I'm starting to think I should just move my tent over here. Because this is the primary spot that I see them now. Yeah, he'll die. Nice. Hey, WK, how's it going? If I could take out one animal and add another to the game, what would it be? Oh, man. Um. I would take out the scrub hair. Because Brober likes them and I hate them. <laughs> and, uh... I would add the Pierre David's deer onto Parquet Fernando. Since Parquet Fernando's a game ranch, it would fit. It's uh, the only one that, the only map that that could fit on, and it's my favorite uh, species that's not in the game. So that's what I would do. I'd get rid of the scrub hair, and then uh, add in the beautiful Pierre David's deer onto Parquet. Oh, that's unfortunate, Cash. Yeah, the thing about the Whitetail is in order to get them to be consistent, you gotta kill thousands and kind of like learn the whole map. You gotta learn all your zones until you find the really consistent ones, which that's that's really time consuming. So I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you for being done with it. What are the best animals to hunt on Yukon? Uh, whichever ones you like the most, Cody. However, some of my personal favorites are the Gray Wolf. Um... The gray wolves, and then what else? Probably the caribou. Those are a couple of my favorites. Can't go wrong with them. And then, of course, moose are great. Okay, nothing crazy over there. So we all agree rabbits suck? Yes, except Brobra. <laughs> yeah, Brobra, I bet you would. Brobra would be like, huh, red deer? Get rid of those. Then Brobra would take a look at the pheasants and be like, get rid of those. Crow wants a melanistic diamond. What would I think about polar bears? I would love them uh, masked uh, gaming. I think they would need a new map in order to do polar bears properly, but it would be really cool. Imagine 
Like, I I know that we all want Africa 2.0, right? And we all want Australia. But I don't think it would be terrible if they just randomly announce a brand new map with polar bears. Like, uh, would you guys be happy with that if they just announced the next map it has polar bears and stuff like that? I think that honestly wouldn't be too bad of an alternative. And then, like, make it so they can do doll sheep. Make it like White Rhyme Ridge on Classic. With, like, doll sheep, Sitka blacktail deer, um, bison, of course, and then the polar bears and arctic fox, or, uh, snowshoe hare. They could really make an awesome map with that, I think. Level 5. Just a 5 here, it looks like. I did not put a tent there, so that's a little bit unfortunate. I probably should have saved one. We're going to have to go pick up tents from other spots that I don't like. So I think we're slowly figuring out that the bears that we've been killing, they're actually really consistent in the fact that they always go to the same places. Yeah, ptarmigan and grouse as well. That'd be awesome. Here's some doll sheep and leopards and Marco Polo sheep. All amazing options, Johnny. I wouldn't be mad with any of those. What's the hardest diamond to get? I don't know. Probably... Possibly the uh, Eastern Cottontail Rabbit. Those are really tough. There's a lot of difficult diamonds, though. Oh, for sure, Clay Drew. Muskox would be such a phenomenal addition to, like, Medved. Be amazing. Uh, there is no Mela for the Black Bear Happy. That's how you tell if it's a uh, Mela, because there is none. Yeah, they would be huge, Noah. Got all the rares for the Cottontail Rabbit before you got a diamond. That sounds about right, Clager. I got really lucky and got a diamond pretty early on Mississippi's release. I still don't have any of the rares, though. But yeah, in general, they're a tough one. Not an easy diamond to get. Little seven. Nice. Come on, little guy. Chill out. Nice, there we go. Now let's head down to the tree stand, see if there's any more. What do I think of the Cape Buffalo? I love the Cape Buffalo. Uh, it's actually one of my top five most wanted great ones. I'd love to see a great one Cape Buffalo. Because the Capes are really cool. They're just, they're huge, they're tough. They look amazing. And they, uh, they're aggressive, so it, it would make an awesome uh, great one grind, I think. If they gave a uh, Cape Buffalo a great one. Got a Diamond Mule Deer Dilute. Nice, Heston. That is awesome. That's really rare to get. That is actually really awesome. Boom. Welcome back, Grayson. <laughs> That's wild, Pancake. Good thing they're skippable, right? Great one, Gator would be awesome, for sure. It would be a tough one to do, though. With the fact that Gators sink so easily and you gotta be really accurate with your shots. I could see that being a uh, really tough, great one to implement. Especially since people already dislike the fact that they can sink. And the fact that you have to get neck shots to kill them quickly. I, uh, I could definitely see it being a tough, tough, great one to add. Oh, yeah, that def that, yeah, that's true, Johnny.
I guess it depends on how tough it is, uh, Christopher. Because if it's so tough that it's not fun, I feel like that would be a bad idea. But if it's, like, black bear tough, that wouldn't be terrible. If it's, like, black bear levels of tough, I could see it being okay, but... I think a lot of people would lose their great one, is what I'm saying, because they sink so much. Because it's really tough to get a good shot, I feel like a lot of people would lose their great one in the water and have it sink forever. That's my biggest concern with the possibility of a great one gator, is that people would lose their great one a lot. And that I think that would just make a lot of people not want to hunt them. So as cool as it would be, I definitely don't know if it would be the best option for a great one because of the sinking mechanic. Though it would definitely be a cool and unique option. Thoughts on great one gray wolves? I would love that, Anthony. Definitely a top 10 pick for me. That would be super, super cool. Dude, we are just slapping these bears today. Match an Australian map with kangaroo, saltwater crocs, camels, and emus. Oh, that'd be awesome, Louise. Especially the uh, saltwater crocs. That's probably one of my, one of my like most, uh, I guess, species that I'd be most excited about with, like a an Australia or African reserve. Like either of those could have uh, some species of crocodile, and I think that would be really awesome. <laughs> Dropped him. That was wild. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely, Johnny. I agree. That's why for the longest time I didn't hunt bears. Now that I've found ways to hunt them quicker, it's not as bad. But yeah, if, I, if I'm if i only able to kill four or five of something in an hour, that's just not a fun grind. For sure. For sure. Hey, Michael, how's it going? Yeah, definitely, Johnny. Definitely. I try to hit 30 or more, but if I'm hitting like 20, that's okay. But yeah, if it's if I'm killing less than 30 an hour, I kind of feel like it's not worth the grind for sure. Like back when I was only getting like 15 to 20 bears an hour, that's part of what demotivated me so much. Was that it wasn't just that it's a grind, it was that it was a grind that felt like it was never going to end. Because it was just impossible to kill them in a timely matter, and I would just always think like, oh, there's so many other things I could be doing right now with my time. Calling a great one in the next run? I hope so, Richard. I hope so. We're, we're killing a lot of bears today, so maybe we'll get him. When did I get the moose great one? Uh, three days ago, Nate. I believe it was three days ago. Yeah, exactly, Johnny. That's why I've always gravitated towards the uh, whitetail and uh, stuff like that for grinding. Because, like, I can I can shoot a lot of whitetail fast. So it makes it more entertaining for me. Makes it more engaging and keeps me interested. Hello, male bears. I might have to walk back a little bit. Thank you, uh, Mazma. I appreciate that. Thank you, Cody. You had a level 3 whitetail score 233. That's crazy, Deacon. That's really rare. I've only had, I think, three of them score below 240 out of my 29,000 whitetail or 28,000, whatever I'm at. It's really rare that they score below 240, so a 233, that's crazy. I think my lowest was 229. Okay, so I guess there is nothing here. We'll go check the lower lake. Yeah, yeah, definitely, Johnny. I hope we do get non-tips added to the game soon. That is like one of my most wanted features for Call of the Wild. Because it really would add such a high level of replayability. Like, they just need to make them spawn at the same pace that rares do. 
If they make non-typicals spawn at the same rate as rares and give them a good variety of sizes and like uh, configurations of tines, non-typicals could be such a game-saving feature. Like, you know, there's the debate about how Great One Grinding has become like such a normal thing and um, herd management is a, a pretty big popular thing now, so diamonds really aren't as special as they used to be. Um, great ones get hunted all the time because they're a super sought after trophy, so we need something, something else. And non-typicals would be like the perfect thing to implement. Because they would give you just a whole new level of different cool trophies you could find. Being able to go for like, um, non-typical rares, different sizes of non-typicals, uh, different combinations of like, Racks for the non-tips, like, there's just so much cool stuff they could do with it. And every antler species could have non-typicals as well. It'd be such an awesome feature. No, I haven't, Callie. It'll be up on Sunday. Yeah, same, Mason. Like, if, it, if they had non-typicals, that'll be my primary goal instead of great ones, probably. Once you grind, but I can only buy like two tents or tripods. I have three each ideas. Uh, you can grind with that. What I would do is I, I'd make sure that you're saving your tents and tripods for your best areas. And start by just grinding those. And then you can slowly like earn money through the grind to purchase more tents and uh, more stands and stuff like that. And then eventually you'll get to a point where you have enough for everything. Okay, let's go up here before we run out of time. It's about to hit 24. How many kills do I have on this grind? Like 3550, I believe. But this grind has been going on for over a year at this point, so... It's been a very long-term grind that we've uh, come back to and left multiple times. Nothing here. Yeah, exactly, Johnny. Like, uh, great one, the great one whitetail is really cool that it's a non-tip, but yeah, it doesn't have a lot of variety. There's only six variations and there's no small non-tips. Yeah, like, they are awesome, but it's not the same as having just the non-typical feature. The non-typical feature would be game-changing. Lone Wolf, thank you for the 30 months, bro, 30 months, holy. That's absurd. 30 months. Oh my gosh. That's insane, dude. Thank you so much. Nah, that's just so crazy. 30 months as a member, man. Still with the channel after 30 months. That's insane. Thank you so much. No, we have not got the Great One Bear yet, but we are uh, doing our best to push towards it. We're doing our best, man. Have you got any nines or rares today, Crow? Yeah, Keen, we got a diamond. We got a pretty big 23.53 diamond bear. First diamond after returning to the grind even, which is pretty, pretty awesome. All right, so it is past the end of their drink time. I mean, 24 is still a long time, Huntress. It is still a long time. Oh gosh, the Twitch days, Lone Wolf. Holy. That's been a while at this point. Alright, I want to test something. I want to see if we can just main menu without changing the time to get our respawns back. If we can, that'll actually be pretty insane. I mean, I see a couple there. Two females. Okay, so no males there, but we just hunted that, so... If anything's gonna have them, it would be this one. Yeah, Wacky, you did. Uh, yeah, Cassius, you missed a diamond bear. It scored 23.53, so it was a pretty big one. 
Oh, that'd be awesome, Jambo. I'd love Greater Kudu if they do Africa 2.0. Oh no, Zebon, that's rough. Level six. Uh, it is past their drink time, so they're gonna be running away. We can pop this guy real quick, though. Oh no. That limb blocked our first two shots. <laughs> that tiny little limb just blocked those shots. That's wild. That, that's wild, man. All right, we know where that bear died. Let's go reset the time. You like the idea of hyenas? Yeah, hyenas would be really good. Um, I haven't done Sons of the Forest in a while, Megan. Just been interested in other games recently and been really into Call of the Wild. So I've been doing a lot of Call of the Wild stuff for like our second streams. We might get back into Sons of the Force at some point, though. Yeah, that'd be really cool, Lone Wolf. I didn't even think of that, actually. That's That would be crazy. That would be really cool. That's one that I don't really see people mention ever. Okay, nothing there immediately. Yeah, I've played Ark, Alex. I actually... I think I've got more time put into Ark than I do Call of the Wild. Ark is one of my most played games of all time. In fact, I think it is my number one most played game. Ark is awesome. I mean, you might as well, Johnny. Seekadeer are pretty awesome. Love me some Seekadeer. Let's do a quick little check at this lake. We haven't been here in a bit. Have I tried the aisle? Yeah, I played the aisle a while back, but I couldn't really get into it. I think it was primarily just because I didn't really have anybody to play with when I first got it. It was when I was pretty new to PC gaming, so I didn't have a lot of like online friends. And then eventually I, uh, I started playing it a little bit when um, a buddy of mine wanted to try it out. So we played it for a little bit, but I've never really got super into it. That bear? I don't think it's bear. Where do you think Africa 2 will be? I don't know, man. Um, I'm not very versed on like what the different parts of Africa have like vegetation and foliage wise or animal wise But I really hope they do like an African jungle. I don't know what uh, what portion of Africa has the most jungles But uh, I really think that's the type of Africa map they need to do if they do Africa 2.0 They need one of, some of the more like a uh, African rainforest or jungle type of uh, type of a map Western Africa? That's kind of what I was thinking, but I didn't want to say it in case I was wrong. Oh, look at that little feller. Oh. Oh, no, I was zeroed wrong. Well, rip. Where at in Africa is the savannah in? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I, I don't know where Verhonga is located. To be honest, I don't know where half the maps are located. Like, uh, Ravantuli is Finland, but like, where in Finland? There we go. Nice little level six going down. Oh, it did, Johnny. 
Jeez, that's wild. Yeah, I would not mind a Western Africa map. That would honestly be so crazy. That would be an awesome map, I think. I'd certainly love it. All right, so what tent are we going to remove, guys? I need to remove another tent. So I can get another claiming tent going. I'm thinking, thinking this one, because we have an outpost somewhat close to there. Any luck? Yeah, Jameson, we did have some luck. We uh, got a diamond. We got one diamond so far today. That has been it, though. Just one diamond. But honestly, I'll take it. Better than a lot of the days that we've had grinding the black bear. Yesterday, we got a nice level 7 blonde. Today, we got a, a beautiful diamond. Things are looking up. Oh. Oh. Bro, these, these mountain lions are the bane of my existence. I swear to God, they're so bad. Mountain lions, why? Why, why do you exist on this map? Why, why can't y'all like go to Leighton Lakes up in the very high mountains where no other animals are? Gotcha, Louise. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that definitely makes sense. I guess that is kind of how they tend to do things a lot of the time. It's just, it's based off like a one country or state. And then they kind of just give you a generalized look at the whole thing all combined into one. So yeah, it probably is. Did you miss anything? Uh, yes, you missed a diamond. We got ourselves a beautiful diamond bear. Yeah, maybe, Johnny. That would be wild. If that if that poll is 100% correct and we do get a UK map, that I guess that would mean that we would have to get Africa next, right? Cuz yeah, now that you mention it, we do think that there's probably going to be a Euro Bison great one. At the very least they added a random uh they added a random European bison mount, so that's got to mean something, right? Oh, Johnny's talking about a poll from years ago, uh, Kathy. Years ago, a poll that EW posted. Apparently, it had Finland, and it had New England on there. As well as Western Africa and the UK, so... It's, uh, it's kind of likely that we will end up getting some of those. Maybe all of them. Come on. You're, you're, you're doing great. <laughs> I promise. Good job, ATV. I totally don't wish that we had horses instead of ATVs. I promise. Yeah, it would, Kathy. We were talking about uh, New England, though. Like, uh, the New England area was on the, um, on the pole back then. Definitely a possibility, uh, uh, human. Definitely a possibility. Trying to, uh, trying to get some collabs together for you guys, because I know you all really want to see some collaborations with other, uh, creators. What about a Ukraine map? I mean, if they did it right, then sure. Like I've said before, I'm down with any map as long as... As long as it can be unique and have a lot of cool species and look really cool. That's all that I really care about. As long as it would be an awesome map, then sure. Just hope we get a map with a new true Rax animal. Me too, Johnny. They kind of been dropping the ball on antlered species recently. 
Like the last two maps included no new antlered species. In fact, maybe even the last three. Yeah, I think it's I think it's been three maps since we've got a new true rack species, right? That's crazy. Come on, little bears. Nothing here. Oof. Yes, I did get the play button. We opened it up on stream on uh, early access release day for the uh, the last weapon pack. Level six. Let's get this guy real quick. Got him. Hey, East of West, how's it going, man? Yeah, me too, Kathy. I hope... I'm sure they will eventually. Like, they gotta add it for the Cape Buffalo. They gotta add it for the Gamsbach. I feel like those are a couple that are a must. Chili map would be insane. What would be on chili? I am not too familiar with chili. The country, not the food. It's been over two years. Gosh, that's crazy, Johnny. Over two years since a new antlered species has come to the game. Crazy. Or I guess just true rack species in general. Two bears down here. Beautiful. Hey, Ben. How's it going? Good to see you. Great one next run. Calling it? I mean, if, if you guys say that every single run, then eventually one of you will be right. Yeah, they've been doing a lot of birds and great ones for sure. Which I'm okay with getting lots of great ones, but... Definitely would like to see some new antlered species add to the game, like Sitka Blacktail Deer, Coos Deer, Pure David's Deer. Like, there's, there's a lot of good options that they still don't have in the game. And I'd love for them to eventually, uh... Add some more antlered game. Calling great one eventually? Dude, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I think that's the most accurate, uh, guess yet. Say that he's stinky. Hey, we'll do it. I think we've waited long enough today. Hey, bears. You suck. You're stinky. Ha uh ha. -huh. Mr. Great One, you, you suck. Ha uh, ha ha. Be bet you won't show up now after I've trashed you live on stream. I don't think it's working. I don't see him. I'm calling he will give me a spot if he gets one. <laughs> Nothing. Back to this lake. The good lake that we all love. Was the Fabled Ashen Great One Moose you got from the grind? Yes, it was, JD. We got it three days ago on Rev. That's a female. Do a quick little main menu. Want to see if that'll get them there. Hey, Kelly, how's it going? 
Canadian map with moose, mule deer, white tail deer, snowshoe hare, uh, or snowshoe, snowshoe rabbits, coyote, elk, a type of grouse, gray wolves, red fox. Yeah, I'd love a Canada map. I, I just don't want a lot of repeat species if they do Canada. And if they do repeat species, it needs to be stuff like Roosevelt elk, you know? Stuff that doesn't have a second map. I mean, I personally think that if they were to do a map that is uh, Canada and then release a great one, Roosevelt Elk, with it, it would probably be a pretty big hit. I think that would be an awesome update. How many kills has this grind been? Just under 3,600 now. It's been a long one. For sure. Let's try something. Let's see if the if the time reset spamming is going to work. We're starting to get our bears to be more consistent, so I, I got to know if it's going to help. I got to know if we can get it to work. Because if we can, that'll help a lot with the speed. We'll see, eyeballs. We'll see. We will see if that great one will show. There's a seven there. I mean, we got one male to show up by doing that. Improper zeroing. Rip. Don't go up there. I don't want to drive the ATV up there. That place sucks. <laughs> Oh man, silly little bear. Yeah, creative for sure. Yeah, I think Hunt Club's gonna be, I think they're gonna be doing it like this from now on where it's like weekend events, which I'm okay with that. It's kind of cool. How many kills for this grind? 3,570 roughly. What I think about Great One Elk or Bighorn? Um, elk, I would for sure love. Um, Bighorn, they would have to rework the, the current Bighorn. Because uh, right now, the Bighorn sheep are not the nicest looking true racks in the game. They're a little bit unrealistic. So I'd want them to redo the true racks on them first before giving them a Great One. But Elk, for sure. Just get, give us Elk Great Ones right now, please. Right now, please. That bear's back instantly. Wow. Not gonna lie, if we could just... Yeah, this one's back instantly, too. If I can just hunt a couple zones and then constantly reset the time like that, that could be nuts. That could actually be such an effective grind if I can do that. We're gonna test it out. We're gonna pay attention to each of these zones, see which ones get their bears right after that time reset that we just did. And then uh, focus hard on those. So, I mean, that's two places that have had a male instantly. And we know that uh, this zone down here tends to get them instantly. So I think maybe I could hunt just those like three areas and maybe have it be really good. But we'll see. Tibetan map would be interesting as well. Woolly hair, um, Pika, Argal, Argali, Yak, uh, Saiga Antelope, Asian Badger, Ty Tibetan Wolf. Yeah, that could be cool. A lot of those species I've never heard of, but they sound really awesome. So I'd have to, I'd have to go look them up. But uh, the few that I do know in that list would be amazing. So that that would be a great map option for sure. For sure. For sure. What scope do I use? I'm using the Hyperion right now, but I, I kind of go back and forth between scopes depending on what I'm hunting and how I'm hunting. 
and just how I'm feeling. Got to take a little drink right there. Get some water in me. Oh, there's a bear. Okay, it's on the other side this time. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I uh, no, with the uh with the black bear, I didn't do anything except shoot them, uh, Asher. Even back when I was doing herd management, I didn't want to do it for bears because bears are just they're really hard to find a lot of them anyway. So I have not done any type of herd management on bears since they redid SRP. Oh, wow, Louise, that's crazy. Oh, yeah, 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 that would be awesome. That would be really cool to see in the game then. I would totally be down for that. Female bear. That's a male. That's a female. That's a male. Two males at least, not bad. Any more? Boys want to come out and play? Nope, guess they don't. This grind is unbearable. It's actually not been too bad. I'm not gonna lie. I've actually had fun this time around. These bears are being consistent for once, which I never thought I'd be able to say. But they, they've actually been consistent. I've been pleasantly surprised. I have actually been having a lot of fun with them. Now let's, let's uh, go to the main menu. Hey games with Bree, how's it going? Max reported weight 785 pounds. That's crazy. That is a that is a big male. That is a very big male. So it's bearable? It is. It's very, very bearable. For sure, Blake. Okay, let's do a little time reset. I really want to see if we can just rotate through like four zones. That'd be amazing if we can make that work. We got to get this great one bear. One way or another. That's a seven. Yeah, resetting did get him in the zone instantly. No, Darden, I don't have a great one bear yet. That is why we've come back to the grind. Still trying to get our first. Maybe uh, today will be the day. These bears have been pretty good today. I, I've been very uh, happy with how consistent they've been. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Johnny. We did it for a little bit, but yeah. I, I, I just couldn't stick to a musk deer grind. So, I mean, most of the musk deer look pretty much the same, so. It was just, they, they all looked the same. And we already had two of the rares, so I was like, I don't need to grind musk deer. We might return to it at some point, though. I wouldn't mind uh, trying to get my diamond, because I still don't have one. 
So maybe one of these days we'll go for a diamond one. Hmm. Yeah, we might not be able to do this like I was hoping. We might not be able to just grind three areas. But I, I definitely think we could narrow it down a little bit more than what we currently have. I, I definitely think so. All right, later, later, Louise. Thank you for dropping in. Have a uh, have a good night. Don't see anything. Yep. Not bear tracks. Okay. Say nice things about the bear. Um. Oh, Mister Great One, you're so majestic and beautiful. The best, the best bear, the bear, the bear spare that a bear could be a bear. Three males here. Okay. It's working, I think. We have three males here. It's being nice is definitely working. Holy, three males at one lake. Are you joking? Are you joking? Three males here? Amazing. Hey, duck, welcome back, dude. Yes, beavers would be so good. Please give us beavers. We want to smoke them all for taking down our tents. Gosh, that scope glare was wild. All because I scoped it next to the tent. There's that blood. And actually, the bear was literally right below me. And then the other two are right over here. That was crazy. Three bears in one zone. That's a rarity at any lake that isn't uh, this one right here. Oh, yeah, for sure. Johnny agreed. That is for sure. Uh, yeah, duck. We got a diamond. We got a diamond uh, towards the beginning of the stream. Since then, nothing, but the bears have been super consistent and really awesome, so that's amazing. You'll love to see it. I really could not ask for anything more with this grind besides uh, reliable bears and eventually a great one. Did I ever claim that one? I must have. I think I did. I think I did. You want polar bears that go aggressive? That would be so cool, Masked. That would be really cool. Uh, yes, I definitely did, uh, Mason. I think we all have. A six and a four. Nice, nice. I mean, if you combine a six and a four, that's a ten. So, it, to be fair, like, this is our great one right here. Like, these two. The ten and the four combined, or the four and the six combined makes a ten, so. Kind of a great one, you know? It was just those two, as I thought. What's my favorite great one to hunt? Uh, I would say right now it's whitetail still. There's just something about the whitetail. They got a special charm. However, Revontuli moose has been growing on me a lot. So I'd say right now that's a couple of my favorites. It's main menu. And then we'll go back to the start of the grind. I'm really liking how this is working out. Like, it seems like they're respawning pretty quickly. So we're able to just do this. Just bounce between a few spots. We're going to keep trying this until it doesn't work anymore. Because I think this will actually be the quickest way to do it. Later, Huntress. Hope you have a good night. Appreciate you stopping by as always. 
Bear right there. Oh my gosh, I had to just take those shots. What tracks are here? Please don't be bear. Oh yeah, it's not bear. Good. I didn't want to have to uh, shoot a bear over here. Because I'm going to have to use the ATV to get over there and it'll just spook whatever is here. Also guys, if you're enjoying the stream and you're not already subbed to the channel, be sure to do so so that you won't miss any of the future content. Lots of uh, bear grinding, moose grinding, and uh, some, I guess, some interesting videos coming up too. So, stay tuned for all of that. Speaking of uh, videos, did you guys enjoy today's video testing the box shot? You guys loved the uh, 22 truncated video, so I figured might as well do 12 gauge buckshot as well, and maybe some more in the future. Yes, Caitlin, lots of bear grinding, provided I can stay sane doing it. I guess I can finally. Wow, Caitlin, okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Two. Two. Let's do the quick little time reset here. No chance you'll stay sane. Yeah, I guess they don't have antlers, so it is going to be hard to stay sane. The lack of antlers does make it so they all look the same. But we'll do our best. I'll do my best to stay sane for you guys so that we can get this great one bear. The range is bad though, that's why it's bad. Are you talking about the 338? Yeah, for the 338, it's like the bullet drop. That's the big thing. The bullet drop is bad. But for the bears, like, and penetration. But for bears, it hasn't been that big of an issue so far. I feel like bears are one of the few species where the 338 is actually pretty solid. I don't mind it. In fact, it's been doing great on bears for me. However, like the uh, follow-up shot time is not great. It's got a very slow cycling bolt. Okay, that got it. That, that last shot hit for sure. We're going to have to drive a little bit. We want to get to them quickly. Oh, really, duck? That's crazy. Yeah, they, they are. They're a lot bigger, actually. And it looks pretty insane, too. I guess a very noticeable difference between them. Where'd this bear go? I, I guess over... There it is. I guess Scarecrow's just a little bit blind. But it's okay. We got him. They're a few kilos bigger. Yeah, just a few. Just a few. Do I like the five-round mag? Yes, the five-round mag is the best part of the 338. 100%. I think I see something running. Maybe. Yeah. I definitely see something over there. Gone now, though. It is out of here. Boom, level seven. Now back over here. If we have to, we will reset the time. It honestly seems like there's certain zones where you can reset the time and instantly get them there. And then there's others where you can't. That's what I'm noticing from this uh, stream. 
and the kind of, kind of the testing that we're doing. Like right here, I think we're going to need to reset the time to get them there. This zone seems to actually work. At least last time it did, it got them there instantly. Female bear. Does that bear look different? I think there's a bear next to that bear. And it kind of looks a little different. I think it might be a rare. I think we might have a rare bear there. Maybe. Either that or I'm wrong and there isn't another there. Okay, I think I was wrong. I don't think there is another bear there. Yeah, it's just the ground. Never mind. I thought there was a lighter colored bear there. All right, later, Caitlin. Thank you for being here as always. Where's these two bears? Well, they're further over, aren't they? Yeah, way further over. Hey, Sinaldo, I'm doing great. The bears are behaving for once. Like, they're actually cooperating. It's amazing. Ah, it's a level one. <laughs> oh, we got a pet. We got a new pet, guys. We got a new pet. That is our brand new pet. Hello, little feller. You are freaking adorable. What are we going to name him? We could call him the greatest one because <laughs> he's a one. The greatest one. What do you guys think? Should we call him the greatest one? Barely one. <laughs> Kind of like that, kind of like that. Is that rare? Mm, yeah, level ones are very rare. They're very rare. Okay, I got, I got an idea, Caitlin. I'm gonna name one that incorporates both you and Brober, right? I'm gonna call it Broberlin. How about that? How about that? Since you have the bear crow on your map. And then I'm gonna need to name one like Barry as well for Bree. Level five. Boom. Berry or berry? Like, uh, kind of like my, my wife's name, but with like the bear included in it, like bear E, because my wife's name is Bree. So. I need to name a bear Barry at some point. If I'm gonna do one that's called uh, Bro Berlin. Bro Berlin. Yeah, I guess I could let you guys vote on it. Yeah, well, let's let's do it. And then whichever one, whichever name wins, we'll name it. And then the other one, we'll name the next one.
There we go. We'll do that. We'll let you guys choose which one you want to name this first one. And then whichever one you don't choose will be the next one. And I mean, if we can get a, like a level one rare to spawn, that'll be like the, the most insane pet we could ever have. That's a three right there. Nice. Oh, it's like 50-50. Which one will you guys vote for? Are we naming it after, uh, are we like combining my wife's name with Bear? Or are we combining Brober and Caitlin's names with Bear? Which one is it, which one's it going to be for this first one? Again, the one that doesn't get uh, the win for the vote will be the next one that we name. Thank you, Chase. I am indeed having a great day. I hope you are as well. Um, yeah, give me a second. Uh, games with Bree. Anyone else in their basement waiting out a tornado? Oh, gosh. I hope you're good. Oh wait, I, I I was reading Mast Gaming's message. Never mind. I, I I am all over the place today. Yeah, we could name the great one, but the thing is, I, I'm naming like pets, like uh, ones that we keep on the map. Like every time we do a grind, we keep a couple pets on the map, and that's the ones that we're naming. I don't really name my great ones because I'm just gonna shoot them, you know. But I get what you're saying, though. I get what you're saying. Because it's the great the great one, you know? I get it. It is a good idea, but I, I tend to not name my great ones because I'm just going to shoot them. Got dog kibble sized tail. Gosh. All right, later, Mr. Squirrel. Thank you for being here, dude. Thank you, Lincoln and Logani. Really appreciate it. Oh, gosh, this is tough. Oh, my gosh. Might need to rethink my tent placement at some point. Like, this drive is rough. Goodbye, ATV. Don't need you anymore. And nothing. Well, there's those ones. I right, later, Johnny. Thank you, Chase. Appreciate it, dude. Do I like burgers? Yeah, I like burgers. I do indeed. I don't really eat them a lot. Unless we like make them here ourselves. But I, I do love me some burgers. Okay, we definitely have a male. Yeah, right there. I was going to say there's definitely a male. We got an extra bear. Beautiful. Love to see it, man. Those darn ATVs, I know, right? So difficult to deal with. Don't run me over, man. Don't run me over, okay? No, it's not, Holly. Unfortunately, it's not, uh... 
Fortunately, it's not cross-platform. I wish it was, though. Ah, uh, yes, and Alder, they're being consistent. Uh, Caitlin gave me some tips on bear hunting. And then, after, after getting the tips, we've kind of just been working out the best way to approach the bears. Apparently, the whole reason I was having trouble with bears is because I was setting it to the beginning of their time. And so, Caitlin and Zaki and a few other people in chat were saying, Crow, set it to like 22 or 22.30. You'll get your bears there almost instantly. And sure enough, that's all I needed was just to set the time later. It's crazy because that didn't used to work for me. And I just assumed that it wouldn't work still. But sure enough, it worked. And now I'm getting bears like 30 minutes after I reset the time. And sometimes instantly even. It's been pretty crazy. It's been a very substantial uh, improvement. And so now we've been kind of uh, going around our map. Trying to figure out what is going to be our best zones to grind. And uh, also just figuring out... Um, what's going to be the best setups for our tents as well so far it's been uh, working out pretty good today though I I've been having a lot of fun with it which is rare because normally I don't have this much fun with bears alright so now we need to do a little time reset here we are going to have to start resetting the time more with this grinding uh, style though but I I am okay with losing some money provided the bears get there instantly. That's what matters to me is that the bears are there on time. Hmm. Nothing there that time. I actually might need to main menu shortly. Might need to main menu. You have a level one rare, Ben? That's amazing. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, this is Silver Ridge Peaks. Silver Ridge Peaks is the map we're playing on. Level four there. I have a stand right there. I should be using that stand. Why am I not using it? I'm assuming I wasn't using it because it's normally too far away. That should stay in render. We're, we're elevated enough that it shouldn't de-render. Okay, yeah. It's not de-rendering because we are elevated enough. Oh, gosh. This is going to be... <laughs> we're, we're so high up and so far away that... The bullet didn't even get to him before he ran on that second one. I drop some pretty quickly, Truett. It's the same as the normal 7mm, except it's bolt action, so it's very strong. The uh, the bolt action 7mm is pretty awesome. Hey, Dron, how's it going? How do you get your bears to work? Uh, set your time to 22, apparently. It's worked for me. And just figure out which uh, zones are most consistent, as always. But that's with any grind. You already know that. Just got to find the consistent zones and apparently set the time to 22. Who would have thunk it? I sure didn't. Did I get another great one, Moose? We got one three days ago. That is the last great one, Moose, we got. It was a fabled Ashen with the spider rack. Which is honestly kind of a cool combo. Cooler than I thought it would be. Level five. Just one bear there. Yeah, just him. I like to kind of hang back and watch just in case there is more. But it was just one. Alright, well, it looks like Bro Bear Lin wins the poll. 
So that level one is going to be named Bro Bear Lin. Would I consider making a Great One Bear guide? Maybe once I get the Great One Bear, uh, Haroon. I don't really like making guides anymore unless I've... Grinded long enough to like really know everything I need to know to make a grind uh, grinding guide for them. Uh, yes, Nato. I'm actually still grinding for Moose. I I did it off stream a couple nights ago, and we did some on stream yesterday too. So yeah, we are still grinding them, but we're gonna prioritize Bear since it's the one that we don't have. So we're prioritizing bear, but still doing plenty of moose grinding as well. Later, Matt. Thank you for being here, dude. Really appreciate you dropping by as always. Yeah, for sure, Sonaldo. They look amazing. You see, I really love the look of the Great One Bear. I just don't enjoy... Uh, I, I've just never really enjoyed the grind part for the bear. Just because they were always so inconsistent. But they've been better recently. Like, they've actually been tolerable, which is amazing. Two bears. Ooh, there's two bears over there this time. Any male bears here? No. Okay. So it's just the two over here, I think. Wish I could spot that other one. Moving. Try to get them to move. Hello, sir. Definitely a male bear. I think the one in the back is our seven. That's a seven. Oh, that's a five. So I got them mixed up. The seven was the front one. And then the five was the one that we hadn't spotted. It was in the back. Not bad though. Two male bears from this zone is definitely more than normal. I'll take it. I don't have a tent down there though, which is a little bit unfortunate. I'd like to get a tent there eventually though. Oh, gotcha, Tria Topaz. That's understandable. Layton does seem like it's really rough for bear. Silver Ridge is definitely the number one black bear map. With uh, Mississippi probably being the second best. But yeah, New England and Leighton are just really rough for Black Bear. So spread out. So spread out and tough to find. Did it run? No, that's... Let's go the other way. I think it ran this way. It had to. Maybe? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it did run this way. <laughs> yeah, pretty much drawn. Pretty much. Uh, later, Masked uh, Gaming. Thank you for being here, dude. What's the next vid gonna be? Tomorrow's video is gonna be some highlights from the uh, Moose Grind. Gonna be like some trophies that I've got during the grind. Including a non-moose trophy that I found while I was grinding moose. Probably a couple of them now because I got that uh, Capper Cali last night, so that'll go into the video as well.
Where's our bear? There it is. I I am blind. Later, Jaden. I bet you did, Ben. That's pretty awesome. Finding a level one rare bear is crazy. That's honestly that's honestly like one of my dream trophies. I'd love to find a level one rare. Cause that is so incredibly rare. Literally, because it's a rare. It's a rare rare, the rarest of the rare rares. It's just that rare. Uh, bear zone here now. All right, well, looks like we're backing up. Backing up and blasting down range. What did you miss? You missed a diamond, and then we also got a level one to spawn. Head spotted. Those are the only two rares for them. Oh, there's a male there too. What? I haven't had a male there in so long, man. That's pretty wild. Oh, that's a female bear. My bears are moving a little bit. Not sure how I feel about that. Come on, pop into view, buddy. Pop into view. Pop in just like that tent popped out. There he is. That was a terrible shot, but you know what? It is what it is. We tried our best. That's all that matters. Would I be happy with just one great one black bear, or do I want to have two of them for the multi-mount? I'm going to be fine with one for now. But uh, depending on what variation I get, I might go for another. Like, if we get a Fabled Chestnut, I probably won't grind for another for a while. Same with uh, if I get a Cream or a Spirit, because those are my favorites. But if we get a Glacier, like either of the Glaciers or a Spotted, I'm going to keep grinding. Nice, Lincoln. That's awesome, dude. He will get me a Spotted, probably, Ben. Knowing my luck, I'll get the Spotted since it's my least favorite. Never been a big fan of the spotted. Come on, bears, give us the great one there. Are cinnamon black bear rare? Yes, they are. They are indeed rare. Nice, Lincoln. That's awesome. Happy early birthday, dude. I know I don't have every diamond, Miles. I'm missing a lot of the birds and then stuff like musk deer and uh, things like that. Can't think of them all off the top of my head right now, though. No males. Alright, let's move to this lake. Got a piebald musk deer a few days ago. Nice drawn, that's awesome. The piebald musk deer's gotta be one of the better piebalds in the game. Um, I haven't noticed it being too difficult drawn. A lot of times they still go to the same places. Like, uh, we've been hunting just the same zones all day for the most part. And nine times out of ten, they're in the same areas. Occasionally I gotta go to other lakes, but... We've been doing pretty good just bouncing between the same, like, five areas.
However, we might be hitting a rough patch where we need to branch out our spots a little bit. Or maybe we need to do a restart. Might need to main menu. All right, let's go that. Oh, nice drawn. Nice. That is awesome. I think there's something in the reeds, but I can't tell. Yeah, there we go. There's a five. Okay, those two did not get spooked somehow. Yeah, I bet, Drawn. That does sound pretty random. Hey, now. Calm down. Calm down, little bear. Let's see our little pet over here. Not in its zone. Or, yeah, it is. There's our little level one. That's adorable. That's just freaking adorable. What gun and ammo should you use for the Cape Buffalo? Um, I would use the either the 300 Magnum with poly tips or the 338 with poly tips. Those are your best options for Buffalo. I've heard that it is realistic, Anthony, and I think it could be cool. Whitetail are also something that could fit on SRP as well, and I would not mind Whitetail. I think Whitetail could be a pretty good option. Except for the fact that Whitetail are on a ton of maps. That's the only problem I could see is that people wouldn't be very interested in it, maybe. Got a 300.61 moose yesterday. This trophy I've wanted since I started the game three years ago. Nice, dude. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Well, almost as awesome as that cluster of three males right there. My gosh. Three males right there. That's, that's insanity. <laughs> oh my gosh that was awesome three males right there hey hunter boy how's it going hey get out of here you stupid mountain lion can't stand those things man can't stand those mountain lions There we go. That's awesome. Three bears down in one area. You love to see it. You love to see it, man. We got to go here. I haven't been to this lake in a bit. I bet some of them are congregating there. We probably have like two or three males there. If I were to take a wild guess. Welcome back. Uh, karaoke. Kari Kari I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. <laughs> but welcome back, Carrie. Welcome back. Should grind whitetail in Mississippi? I... I don't think so. I, I don't think I'll touch Mississippi whitetail. <laughs> Thank you, Lincoln. 
Level three. Do we have more than one bear? Nope, just one. Okay, just one. Maybe they didn't congregate here. Nice, we dropped him. Car Ryok Ryand. Car Ryok Ryand? Is that is that how I say it? Yeah, pretty much drawn. It's my favorite animal. Um, I would have to say probably red deer. But I enjoy hunting whitetail more, and the moose is my favorite great one. So, like, I got three favorites. All right, later, Ashley. AKB Vlogs, how's it going? Yeah, Mississippi's kind of mediocre. It's decent in some aspects, but not very many. It, it can be fun, though. It can be fun. I enjoy playing uh, multiplayer with friends on Mississippi. I think that's its best, best part of Mississippi, is just running around with friends, shooting small game and birds. That's the one, uh, one area where I feel like Mississippi's pretty decent. Don't see any bears over here. However, they could be through these trees. That's another spot where I've seen them before is right there. Hey, Leviticus, how's it going, dude? Hope you're doing good. Nice, Big Buck Bill. Has it been tough? Later, Lincoln. Thanks for dropping in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, let's see, where do we want to go now? I think we need to... Probably check this area again. I want to look over here. Oh, rip galactic. It was tough to set up. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Seems like it would be really tough to set up. Still no male bears over here. Oh, no. Yeah, this one's been kind of a, an inconsistent one recently. Been a little bit of a strange one. Come on, males. Anything? No male bears. Where are they? They could just be delayed getting to their zones, I guess. Uh, where could we head over to now? Where could we go to that we haven't been to in a bit that I know we'll have some? I mean, we gotta check this one. We definitely gotta check that one. Uh, yeah, Holly. Not the newest one, but some of the older ones. Trying to avoid heavy gator places. Yeah, I would imagine you would definitely have to. Because those gators, they're one of the main reasons I, I don't do a grind for uh, whitetail on Mississippi. Those gators are brutal. See where we got bears over here. Female bear track. We used to get some males over on this bank. <laughs> Definitely not going to get one with that there. It is a level five though, which you don't see a lot of those. 
That's kind of cool. Oh. There we go. We got a mail. We finally got a mail at this lake again. Been a while since I've shot a uh, bear here. Oh, are you talking about the fish, Holly? I thought you were like using the acronym for Call of Duty. Um, I, I don't know what cod species are here, if I'm being honest. I don't do a lot of ocean fishing besides like uh, fishing off the jetties or like rockfish. So I don't really know what type of cod we have here. There we go. Nice little level six. Nice little level six male. How many kills am I into the grind? A little bit over 3,600. If I were to take a guess. Actually, maybe not quite. We're probably at roughly 3580. Approximately. More bears coming over here. I mean, if they're using this zone again, they're consistently coming back to this zone over here. I might have to put a tent over there again. Yeah, that could be co that could be good, uh, Jambo. All right, actually, guys, I think we're gonna have to end this stream right here. Uh, we gotta possibly do another stream later tonight with Brobra and, uh, Caitlin. Not sure if I'll make it or not, but if I want to have a chance of doing it, I gotta go ahead and get a little recording done and then get dinner finished. So, I will see you guys later. This was a, uh, fun stream. Glad that we got another Diamond Bear and that we're doing, uh, pretty amazing, honestly, on this grind. Absolutely blazing through the bear kills, unlike ever before, so... I will take it. Boom. There we go. Thank you guys so much, though. Really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.